Thanks to Care Of for sponsoring this video. Today, we are talking about Kelly Clarkson's vocal evolution. If you're new here, hi, I'm Hannah. I'm a vocal coach. So glad to have you here. So I've been waiting for this video. I've done a couple vocal evolutions. I did Selena Gomez and also Taylor Swift. Today, we're talking about Kelly Clarkson. I personally, huge Kelly Clarkson fan. I remember when she was on American Idol and I was just in awe of her voice. She absolutely captured the hearts of America. Is that literally like an American Idol promo? <laughs> she was just incredible and also so sweet and everybody just like fell in love with her. And today we're gonna talk about her evolution. Here's the thing, in the other videos that I have done, I've been able to find videos made by incredibly helpful fans that compile her, the sun's coming out again. Guys, if my lighting is changing throughout this video, I don't know what to tell you. I got a window here, things keep moving. I don't know, I'll work on it, okay? I'm so sorry. <laughs> These compilations that I've been able to find have been like from them as a kid all the way to their professional career to the present day. I haven't been able to find anything from her as a teenager or a kid, unfortunately, but we're gonna start from the beginning of her career from her American Idol audition all the way up to today. Yeah, Thank you very I'm much. 20, I just turned 20 this April. Kelly Clarkson, in this audition is 20. She says, I just turned 20 this April. I don't know if this is like two months ago. <laughs> so she's a baby. She's so small. Happy birthday. Cool beans. Cool beans. Fancy cars that go very fast. You know, they never last. No, no. What you need is a big, strong hand to lift you to your higher ground. Oh. Oh my God. First of all, she sounds great. She looks so cute. <laughs> I just have to say the fact that American Idol will have people have to audition a cappella, that's just rude. Singing a cappella, even for the most experienced singers, is hard. You have to have a really, really good ear to stay on key the entire time. American Idol, come on. You can't even bring in like a karaoke track on a CD. Come on. She killed it. She stayed on key. We love that. Something that I am hearing in her voice here, which we need to take into consideration the fact that she is young and she's auditioning for a singing TV show. She's probably so nervous. We are going to validate that that's part of her experience and we're going to talk about what's happening in her voice. On the bottom notes of her voice, that is our chest voice. What's happening in our voice at that point? Stay with me, I won't get too technical, but our vocal folds are thicker than they are when they're at the top. They kind of do a little something like this as you go up from the bottom of your range all the way to the top. What we want on the bottom, unless you are doing this as a style choice, that's a little caveat, we want our vocal folds to come together evenly and balanced every time. That's kind of where we want our home base to be. So in the bottom of her voice, she's not quite getting there. There's more air. So I want you to listen to that. 18 karat gold. Gold. There's a little bit of her soft palate lifting and there's a little bit of air coming through. If this was the first time you're coming to my channel, especially if you're a Kelly Clarkson fan, hi, welcome. We're not criticizing, we're just analyzing. This is such a great way for us to learn about our favorite singers. If you're a singer yourself, this is a great way for us to learn about the voice just by listening and training our ear. And if you're just a big Kelly Clarkson fan, this should be just fun for us to analyze and see how far she's come. So we're not judging. We don't know the full story. All we know is what is in front of us, okay? So analyzing, noticing, not judging. So she's not getting quite into her chest voice on the bottom and you can actually tell that she's kind of imposing her larynx. It's going down because she's kind of swallowing her sound. So you can see it a little bit right here that her tongue is going down. So that is showing me that there might be a little bit of tension here, but I'm not really seeing a lot of tension here. So she might be keeping it pretty isolated, which is impressive because when we have tongue tension, jaw tension, it is so easy for that to become like a domino effect of just tension, a big old mess of tension. And she's doing great. She sounds incredible, okay? As we go through these clips, we're going to just notice how old she is because that's important. As we get older, our voices change. And at 20 years old, her voice is still changing. And as we get older, our voices get a little bit lower. I mentioned this in my Selena video and in the Taylor Swift video. You can hear when they're younger, a little bit of a harder time getting into their chest voice fully. And then as they got older and they worked on their voice more as well, they found it easier to get into their chest voice. I'm here that with Kelly Clarkson too, but like just a tiny bit. Let me take a minute and tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Care Of. Care Of is a subscription service that sends you personalized high quality vitamins, powders, supplements, 
to your door every month. And when they say personalized, they mean personalized. Care Of has a handy dandy little quiz that asks you questions about your lifestyle and health goals so that you are getting the supplements and vitamins that you need. And I love how Care Of is made with good for you ingredients that are backed by science and research so you can feel good about what you're putting into your body. It's 2024 and if you're anything like me, you're feeling your mortality. <laughs> We're getting older and there's nothing wrong with that, but we care about our bodies. Our bodies carry us around. We love them. And so Care Of comes in and is going to help us get the supplements and the vitamins that we really need for our body. One of the supplements that I have in my daily pack is vitamin C. With Care Of, I've been taking it every single day. I have been feeling really good and I've stayed healthier this winter than I have in the past few winters. Take Care Of's quiz and find out what vitamins and supplements they recommend for you. Click the link below and use my code code Hannah Bales for 50% off your first order with Care Of. Thanks for sponsoring my video, Care Of. I love you. Bye. Okay, so this next clip is from 2002. This is the same year that she won American Idol, so she's 2021 maybe at this point. Oh my god. I forgot about this song. So good. My goodness. Number one, forgot about that song. Oh my God, what a hit. Number two, she just is giving like some Christina Aguilera realness, but on like a Whitney Houston love diva ballad, right? Are you guys hearing that? There's this incredible moment that we have to talk about where she goes from a really nice mix into a belt and you can hear it from one note to the next. So need all the way to one. Listen to that. I never needed any one. You guys hear that? This is cool to hear back to back because you can hear the difference between a mixy belt and a belt. And she blends these together absolutely seamlessly. The other thing is that the word need is an E vowel that's a close vowel. And then we have one, which is more of an open vowel. You might find that it's harder to belt on a close vowel, like an E, O, sometimes an A. And that can be just because what that does to our vocal folds. An E vowel makes our vocal folds a little bit thinner. So it's harder to get that like thickness and that belt that we want. So she's doing this like expertly done. It's so beautiful. And I love that this is like a studio recording, but it feels really unfiltered. Like it feels very raw. Like they didn't fiddle with it. <laughs> too much, you know? Like there's not too much auto-tune, it's, it's beautiful. And then I'm gonna mention one thing that she does on the bottom of her voice again is we get that imposed larynx, which is that sound where the bottom notes are getting swallowed slightly. Remember, I'm being crazy nitpicky about this because this is fun to analyze. If Kelly Clarkson sang that for me, this 21 year old Kelly Clarkson was in my studio and sang that, I'd be like, okay, done. <laughs> okay, you're perfect, goodbye, you don't need me. Uh, never. It's very down here. This is a situation where I would ask my student, how is that feeling for you? Honestly, how is that feeling? Are you feeling good? Is that how you want your sound to be? Especially if you are a professional singer, that's what I would ask. And if she was like, oh, they're feeling a little like, I can, I can feel that swallowed feeling. I would just ask her, give me a little bit more chest voice in your speaking voice. I never, instead of I never down here, I never in her chest voice, please don't take my musical theater ass and make fun of me for not being able to sing pop. Okay, guys? <laughs> Those who can't do, teach. Okay? I'm only half kidding about that. Okay, now the iconic, iconic Kelly Clarkson song, A Moment Like This. This is also a song that has become a bit in my life where I will just sing this song. Some people wait a lifetime. But with like really ridiculous things, like if I had to wait like an hour for my brownies to cool before I could eat them, I'm gonna sing this song. It lands every time. Oh, I love the growl. And the highlights. Oh my god. 
Okay, something that Kelly Clarkson does so well is her vibrato. It's so good. It's so balanced and beautiful. Vibrato can be a really great sign that we're in a balanced place. For her, when that vibrato comes through, it's very consistent. It's not like speeding up or slowing down or it's not too fast where, you know, it can kind of make you feel like a sheep because it's going so fast. She lets out these big notes and that vibrato comes through immediately. It just shows how healthy her voice is. It's, it's incredible. Oh my God. Oh my God, they didn't include the ending of that song in this compilation and I'm upset. I just want to point out again, Kelly Clarkson's masterful high notes. She is genuinely a expert when it comes to mix belting. She's so fantastic. So when she goes to, she says, oh, like this, listen to this. That's the best one. I mean, are you for real? That's just so good. That's so incredible. There is a reason why Kelly Clarkson came on the scene and everybody was like, we have a new diva. She's here. Joining the ranks of Celine Dion and Whitney Houston and Christine Aguilera. She's here. She's arrived. Absolutely incredible. And also just, I said this already, but Kelly Clarkson seems so nice. Just genuinely such a lovely person. I love her. This is just a reminder how good Miss Independent is. So if you haven't listened to Miss Independent in a while, it doesn't matter who you are. Guys, gals, non-binary pals, listen to this song. You're going to get pumped up. Look at her. Oh my God. Okay, I love her. But we're gonna go and find some live singing, okay? So this is a compilation of her attempting the same high note. So let's go through and talk about what's going on. So this first clip is from 2005. Okay, so interesting with this clip. If anybody has seen my videos before, especially the vocal evolution videos I've making, you might guess what I'm about to say. She's singing way too loud, really loudly, and it is too much for her voice. She hit that note, she survived it, okay? It's amazing. And I shouldn't even say survived, like she did that. She did that, <laughs> but it's not sustainable. So here I am as a vocal coach. Here's what I'm looking for. I want to make my students' lives easier. That's the whole thing. So when I'm hearing this and I know the context that this is a professional singer and she's going to be singing this song minimum mul multiple times a week, maybe if she's on tour, we need to make sure that it's sustainable and she's not going to get a vocal injury because belting up there without the right technique can lead to a vocal injury. I will also add a little side note that some of the best singers that I have ever heard, professional singers, have gotten vocal injuries and that doesn't mean that they were doing anything wrong. Like I've seen some comments from people they hear about a singer who has vocal nodules, they're like, oh, I thought they were such a healthy singer. You can get a vocal injury just from overuse. The best of us can get a vocal injury. So that's not necessarily like a sign that you're doing bad things, but we want to try and prevent that as much as possible vocal injuries can be absolutely devastating, especially if this is your career. So as she goes up here, you can see in her throat that she's yelling a little bit. She's also leaning back. Do you kind of see her stomach is thrust forward? She's doing that because she's relying on a lot of power, like her body to give her that sound. And again, she functions well, she gets up there, but it's really not sustainable. I would not want to see her sing in this way again. There's a little rasp up on the top. Now that top note, incredible. It sounds really beautiful. And she does something with her vowel, which I think makes it easier for her. She doesn't crack. She sings a little bit more like again, and instead of again with this really big open vowel. 
Now, her mouth is big and open. The difference between your vowel can be open or close. That's what we call them. Or a front vowel or a back vowel. And then your mouth being super big and open can be a completely different thing. So I'm just talking about her vowel. But again, she did great. Moving on. This is 2013. This clip says a semitone lower and better technique. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Oh, I love her face after that. She looked a little nervous. Like, am I going to get it? And she did. She was like, whew, amazing. Okay, here's one thing that is one of my favorite things to talk about, which is higher doesn't necessarily mean harder. For her, where this is in her voice, moving it down half a step might be perfect to make it easier, but it also could make it harder. Just because it's lower doesn't necessarily mean anything. She really is focusing on getting good technique on that top note, and you can hear the vibrato come through. That's absolutely incredible. That top note, so good. On the bottom, why I said she looked a little nervous, she was really concentrating. I think on the bottom, still too loud. When we are louder, our vocal folds are thicker. If I'm already getting ready to belt, which is I want to have more thickness in my vocal folds so that I can have that big sound, I really don't want to reach the point of no return. Where I am so thick because I am so loud that I don't have anywhere to go. And that can lead to like a crack on the top or in the the worst case scenario, right? A vocal injury. Okay, so this is 2020. Kelly is 38, I believe. Again. I wouldn't say that she dodged the high note. That's not very nice because the truth is she was doing really well. I think that she could have gotten it. Although she might have made that decision at this performance, like I don't want to risk it. I don't want to crack. I'm going to do something new. Or maybe she just was like, I've been singing this song for almost 20 years. Let me shake things up a little bit. That's totally fine. She sounds really great. And you can see that she's singing a little bit quieter. And that matters. That's so great. Good job, Kelly. Yeah. Oh, so good. Okay, so she didn't dodge the high note. She wanted to save it and do something different. I love that. I thought that was great. Oh my God, that was so fun. I am a slut for a belty high note. I'm not gonna lie. Of course, my philosophy is why not both? Why not do both? No, but for real. A high note sounds more spectacular, is more impressive when there is contrast. So I love that she actually did that. She went down into a strong belt and then decided to throw that in at the end. Ugh like a little treat, a little gift for us. Don't we love that? Now we're going back in time. Sorry guys, this video is definitely not like organized well, cause I'm just like going through a bunch of different compilations, but we all love Kelly Clarkson. So we're having fun, right? So this is 2006. Miss Ma'am is 24, 24. Can you hear that? You never, it's very swallowed. And when we impose our larynx and we are going towards that more swallowed sound, it can sound to the listener that, oh, that's too low for her. But the truth is it is not. Kelly can absolutely sing down there. She just needs a little bit more chest voice. She needs to embrace her speaking voice on the bottom. In the same way that she embraces the natural quality of her voice on her kind of middle to higher range, like she does it so well. With something like this, it's such an easy fix too. It's just say whatever lyric you have and then I want you to speak it. Like you you never, you, you, you never, instead of you never, that does not feel the same or sound the same as your speaking voice. And I also think that for a lot of listeners, sometimes we are untrained, we listen and we're like, something sounds off with that singer. Like it doesn't sound like their authentic voice. I think that often goes back to chest voice just not being in a solid place. Even if we don't know what that is, we can kind of feel that it's not authentic. We're going to continue. Also, she looks great as a blonde. This is a good blonde for her. Hey, it's really swallowed. 
Okay, I'm sorry, we're gonna get to the high note, but I want you to see the difference in her breath right before that high note. You could see it in her throat a little bit. That's a pretty shallow breath. However, she sings like a champ after that. So like, I'm not gonna <laughs> criticize her for that. But if she had a stronger bass on the bottom, then you could kind of think of that as like her launch pad or like her trampoline. Like she's going to stay grounded on the bottom as she goes up to the top. It's gonna help her get up there better instead of relying on this kind of like, <gasps> big breath to find the placement. That's just more work than we need to do. Oh my God. Look, <laughs> there she is again on a close vowel thing. And it's so perfectly done. I don't know what else to say. It's just perfectly done. I just, I just, cheers. All right, so this is 2012. She is 30. This is important because of her vocal development, okay? Ooh, so this is even lower. Do you feel that? It sounds like her authentic voice. So incredible. And it's even lower. She's doing great things. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Here she is. This is 2020. We're back to the original key. Oh my God. Good God. <laughs> It's just so great. I know these are just clips from the same song, but it's just so, it's so impressive. I'm just in awe. That's all. Here she is, 2023. She is 41. Yes! Oh my God. Okay, that one was fun. I don't want to comment on Kelly Clarkson's personal life because I honestly don't know anything about it and also who I am I. But I do want to say, I did read a TikTok comment that said like, man, divorce looks good on her. And as a person who has been divorced, my time alone did just wonders for me. So maybe, who knows, that's affecting her throat chakra and she's just singing like, <laughs> so freely whatever's going on just like good for her also i do believe that she quit smoking guys if you smoke out there and you're a singer what are you doing hmm? stop doing that the last thing we're gonna look at is Kelly Clarkson's cover of Vampire by Olivia Rodrigo. I did see a couple clips of this on TikTok and that whole thing was going viral where people were like, I would die if Kelly Clarkson took my song and covered it and then just claimed it that you know that's just her song now not mine i thought that was just so funny because kelly is a god we're gonna watch the whole thing this is gonna be fun oh i love her set I hate to get the satisfaction asking how you doing now look at you cool guy you got it oh my god oh my god I, I, I swear, I'm, I'm not gonna pause so much. I swear to God, uh, that just gave me the biggest chills ever. How amazing. And this is such a great example of her staying in her speaking voice. But yeah, there's a little bit of rasp. There's a little bit of air coming through, but our chest voice doesn't have to be perfect all the time, but it sounds like her speaking voice. It doesn't sound swallowed. Oh my God, so good. Okay, continue, Vampire Kelly. I loved you truly. You gotta laugh at the stupidity. Cause I made some real big mistakes. But you made this might make me cry. Oh, oh God. I don't want to be creepy or anything, but it's just delicious, isn't it? I'm sorry to use that word to describe a voice. It's just so tasty. I love it. I love it. Kelly, God, continue. Perfect. Damn vampire. Okay, perfect high notes. Just literally so fantastic. And I want to also mention that she's not getting too loud and that is just so good because we also know, if you know the song, we're gonna get a bigger moment at the end and she's saving it. I love it. So nice. Right here is just flawless. Dream crush. 
gorgeous, amazing. I also love her like vampire minion playing the piano. Also, Olivia really ate with that line. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't love anyone because that would mean that you have a heart. Mm, I love it. Okay, breath control. vampire minion in the back look at those eyes i think they maybe didn't need the contacts that's actually kind of scary he's staring at me and i don't like it <gasps> that was the end kelly sorry i thought i thought it was gonna get bigger at the end but you know what that was fantastic and i'm not gonna complain no i'm not gonna complain we were just given that gift i'm not gonna complain come here Come here, Chloe. Look, I just don't know how to function when Kelly Clarkson starts singing. Yes, she's so talented. And yes, she is able to sing those high notes in like such a beautiful way. But she also just like knows her voice really well. And I think all the singers that I have done in this series and I will continue to do, they figure out their voice as they go, right? And I think that's true for Kelly too. But I feel like she found it way faster than anybody else. Like she just got on American Idol and she was like, okay, yeah, this is me. She has has some natural rasp in her speaking voice and she incorporates that into her singing in a really beautiful and healthy way not in a way that makes me like concerned for her vocal health which is just great and she's such a great performer and she's such a nice lady so <laughs> thank you to care of for sponsoring this video click the link below and enter code hannah bales for 50 percent off your first order with care of <laughs>